Hi there and welcome along. My name is Paul Goff. I'm one of the UK's leading physios. Today I'm going to talk to you all about that groin strain that you're suffering from. Uh, particularly we're going to talk about what a groin strain is. Uh, we'll consider if it's a hernia or not. I'll talk you through the symptoms of a hernia uh, so that you can be 100% confirmed that it is a groin strain that you're suffering from. Uh, we'll talk about why it's a problem to you, not just for the pain but also the restriction it's causing. If it's keeping you off work, if it's keeping you out of the spot that you love, uh, I'll tell you why that's happening. And I'll also introduce you to physiotherapy and how it can help you get back to the spot you love. Um, if you just have a quick look at the picture, that's exactly where a groin is, what we refer to as a groin strain. Technically, you might hear it referred to as an adductor, uh, but for you know, you'll hear me talk about this as a groin strain. Uh, I'll introduce you to me. That's uh, me in my office here in Hartlepool. Um, my career before I set up this private physiotherapy practice, I was at Darlington and Middlesbrough Football Clubs here in the Northeast. Uh, so groin strain is very familiar to me. And that's more recently me working. Occasionally I get to go in and work in some soccer camps. That's me working with Manchester United footballer Paul Scholes in America. Um, so we deal with these things like groin strains all of the time. So uh, I'll talk you through it as I go along and I'll give you some advice as best as I probably can. Uh, but the first thing, there's a real problem with the uh, groin that I find is this thing called a scar tissue. Um, I'll talk you all uh, through why these muscles get damaged and how they heal and what you can do to prevent these problems but you need to understand this thing with scar tissue when you damage that muscle your body's instant reaction to repair it is with scar tissue think of a glue or cement if something's damaged we might use some glue or cement to fix it to make it that bit stronger and scar tissue is your body's equivalent of a glue or a cement that is happening when you damage that groin muscle um, but the problem is your groin can end up too tight and it usually means that a person will suffer the original pain and discomfort obviously as they damage that muscle but let's say four to six weeks later they're still in a lot of discomfort every time they try to get back to activity or every time they try to stretch that groin and it can be something as simple as stepping out of a car your leg opens up and these muscles have just got no flexibility in them because of the scar tissue and it keeps causing you this constant repetitive pain and obviously makes you very likely that this muscle is going to um, going to tear again in the future so i'll talk to you all about scar tissue why it's causing your pain uh, but first let's confirm that you've actually got a groin strain uh, you'll have felt an immediate sharp pain on the inside of your thigh exactly uh, again just have a quick look at that picture where the blue circle is that's your groin that's that adductor area that you would have felt an immediately uh, sharp pain it could also have been a little twinge a little pain that you've woke up the next day and it's even worse but that's usually how it um, that's usually how you, you will feel it it could be a cramping or a biting type of pain every time you go to use that adductor or that groin muscle you feel this biting, this cramping style pain um, exactly in that groin area. And it's sharp when you stretch. So the picture that you're looking at is a typical stretch of a groin or an adductor area, but it doesn't have to be that way. In everyday life, a, a groin stretch can be something as simple as you opening up your thigh area or your groin area. When you step out of the car, when you get out of bed on the morning, when you turn around the corner, that's you stretching your adductor or your groin muscle. So if you're still getting a sharp pain, even two, three, four, five weeks after this original injury, um, you're still definitely suffering with a groin injury. One more thing about a groin strain, swelling and bruising is very common. So don't be alarmed, don't be worried if you see this type of thing happening on the inside of your thigh, usually two, three, four days after the original injury. And that gives us as physios a bit of an idea of how bad this groin strain actually is. So, uh, And it's one of the things obviously we'll get uh, rid of for you, we'll do massage, we'll do stretching, we'll talk to you about ice and using heat and when to do both to get rid of that um, swelling and that bruising on the inside of your thigh. One of the things we find is that lots of people, when they come to us with a groin strain, they ask us about a hernia. They've spoke to their GP or they've spoke to their friends or they've used the internet and they sometimes convince themselves that they've got a hernia. So uh, let's put that one to bed pretty quickly. Uh, with a hernia, the difference between a hernia and a, a typical groin strain is that a hernia will come on gradually. Contrast that with a adductor or a groin strain, which will come on almost instantly through sport or through getting out of a car too quickly. You'll know that you've damaged that groin strain instantly, more often than not. But with a hernia, that pain will come on gradually over a period of weeks and months. And the pain actually gets gradually worse, quicker. So let's say you go for a run and originally that pain came on after 30 or 40 minutes. Over time, as that hernia gets worse, that pain will get more intense, sort of five, 10 minutes into the run. Coughing and sneezing are usually a problem with a hernia, quite often not with a groin strain. Um, and one big thing with a hernia, don't be sort of fooled with a scan because they don't often pick them up on a scan. So um, it isn't always a great indicator of a, um, of a groin strain. So it is a good indicator of a groin strain, but not of a hernia. So um, those are the things you're looking for with a hernia. Um, what is a groin strain? It's basically a tear in one of the muscles on the inside of your leg. And again, if you look at the image, that's typically how a person in sport would do it. They open up, they reach for a football, they stretch too far, 
it could happen to any person in everyday life literally just stepping out of the car too quickly you could slip on the ice and your groin will open up that adductor area on the inside of your hip will stretch too far too quickly and it usually means that those muscles become torn or strained and obviously the big question is what's the difference between tearing and straining nothing okay they're exactly the same they just pretty much mean that one of the fibers or some of the fibers of that muscle on the inside of your groin have been torn um, and it happens when that muscle is stretched too far uh, again that's exactly where that area is if you have a quick look at the picture and the, uh, the blue circle indicates the groin area the best way I can explain it to you and this is the way I explain it to a person that visits my clinic think of an elastic band um, if you pull an elastic band too tight it's likely to snap if you pull an elastic band it may fray or it'll bounce back into position if you pull a groin muscle too far it could fray if you pull it too far too quickly it could snap but more often than not what happens is because of this pressure or this um, intense sort of force that you would put through a band or you put through the muscle as you stretch will tear one or two fibers in that area when the fibers are torn that's when the body puts down this scar tissue again think of this glue or cement that you're putting down to repair and that's the reason that you get a groin strain and that's the reason that you end up with that problem later on you're over your initial pain in the first few days later on as the uh, healing takes place and you're thinking this is getting better and you can go for a bit of a walk and a bit of a run but as soon as you start to open up or you you accelerate or you reach for that football even a month later that pain's still there it's because this elastic band has healed itself with the glue or cement and it's now too stiff and too tight so why are you in the pain and the restriction well the fibers are torn so that's going to cause you pain straight away you've obviously also got this swelling you probably can touch the area again have a quick look at the image touch anywhere around there that's highlighted with the circle that's likely to have some swelling in there now that causes you to be immobile quite quickly and it's actually quite a good thing because it allows you four or five days for your body to heal um, but after that four or five days is when you need to get on with some exercises you need your hands on physio and you need to then start getting back active and, and we can advise you on things like walking things like swimming bike riding that you can start and that are safe for you to do um, that you, at the minute you might not think are because of this pain that you're getting um, and again one of the reasons you've got the restriction is that this muscle will heal wrongly that's that scar tissue that I was uh, talking about. So how can we help you? Um, we will help you with hands-on treatment. You desperately need deep massage for this. It's a muscle that's damaged and because of this swelling and because of this bruising and because of the scar tissue, you need hands-on treatment to mold it, to make this adductor, this groin muscle much more flexible so that when you wanna open that muscle up, you wanna stretch for the ball, you wanna get out of the car, you wanna turn around the corner quickly, that muscle has got enough flexibility in the same way that an elastic band will have if you stretch an elastic band. Uh, it will tell you exactly what it's done, uh, why you've done it, and we look at ways that possibly you can stop it from happening again in the future. Um, and we'll also explain the difference between a hernia and a groin strain in a little bit more detail as well. Uh, we will definitely give you exercises for you to help yourself at home. Um, and those are the three things that you get from us here at this physio, physio clinic. You'll get hands-on treatment, you'll get explanation of the injury, and you'll get exercises for you to do at home and very importantly we'll tell you when it's safe to return you'll be very surprised with the groin strain to learn that probably even after a week we can get you back to walking we can get you back to bike riding we can get you back to swimming we can even get you back to a little bit of jogging but it'll all be done at a certain level and a certain intensity and we'll ex we'll explain to you what you can expect to feel um, and not to be worried that it might be a little bit uncomfortable a little bit of a burning sort of sensation going on but all of those things are safe and are actually really vital for you to get back to avoid this happening again in the future so um, with a groin strain briefly what you would need three to four weeks it'll take you to get back probably uh, to the sport that you love to do or the activities that you like doing uh, three or four sessions of physio you're going to need lots of and I, I couldn't stress this um, any more importantly you're going to need lots of deep massage you're going to need lots of stretching and also strength exercises as well obviously all of which our physios will uh, talk you through so where are we to be able to help you we're in darlington we're in durham gisborough and hartlepool and the image that you're looking at there is uh, from one of the clinics that's actually the hartlepool clinic inside um uh, so if you're coming to visit us that's kind of what you can expect and what we also we always give this guarantee for an injury um get your session free of physio can't help so if it turns out that that is a hernia or it's an injury that we can't treat um we will definitely give you your session for free you won't be expected to pay uh, to book you just need to call 0800 043 8671 is the number um, and if you want to speak to one of our physios before you actually come in for your treatment just to confirm or just to get some advice please feel free to do so 0800 043 
8671 is the number you need. So um, again, just to confirm, with a groin injury, you need hands-on treatment, you'll get an explanation of your injury, you'll get exercises to do at home, and it may be that we give you exercises for something like a back injury, which can also be contributing to this type of groin strain. So uh, we look at your back, we look at your core strength, your stability around that area, and make sure that uh, you ain't gonna get any more problems when you leave us after a few weeks, and we'll tell you exactly when it's safe to return. A physio can definitely help you. Um, and like I said, to book your session, the number you need is 0800 043 8671. Uh, please give us a call. We can probably get you in for treatment within a couple of days and get you back on the road to recovery. Hope this advice helps. Uh, my name is Paul Goff. Thanks for watching. I'll uh, speak to you again soon. Thanks now. Take care.